Thank you for watching Black Belt Secrets. I hope you found it useful so far. So Ian Harley asks a good question about stretches for sciatic nerve pain. As it happens, I have quite a bit of experience managing pain and symptoms from lower back pain and sciatic nerve pain. I had a ruptured disc, L5 to S1, about four and a half years ago. I've been under the care of an osteopath ever since then, uh, but I've managed to keep training and uh, to this day now I'm pretty much symptom free, providing that I manage the pain and the stretching properly. And uh, I do see my osteopath quite regularly but uh, I've taken all of his advice to uh, make sure that I do everything I can to manage the symptoms, uh, but more importantly, that I prevent that the symptoms coming back again. So one small disclaimer, uh, whilst I am a fully qualified instructor, I'm not medically qualified, so everything that I'm giving you is uh, information that I've gathered from my osteopath and from my experience, having uh, dealt with and managed this pain for quite some time. Now it's quite important to understand the nature of lower back pain and, uh, and where it comes from and uh, also the surrounding factors that can have the biggest impact on lower back pain in causing it. And it's, uh, it's not as obvious to say that it's sports or martial arts that causes this pain, although I've met many doctors that would like to tell you that uh, it is a direct result of sports injuries and this sort of thing. In actual fact, uh, I believe and my osteopath believes that uh, your life patterns and the way you walk, the way you sit and uh, the general ergonomics of your everyday life have much more impact on uh, lower back pain and comparability of the joints and the muscle tissue than uh, just doing sports. Now, obviously doing sports carries with it its own risks but you can manage those risks and you can manage the pain and the symptoms that come from those sports if you are following good advice, good stretching routines and you surround your training with proper care and attention. So on to the stretches then. So the best stretch that I've found so far is to stretch out the muscles and the ligaments in the backs of the upper thigh because they are the closest to the sciatic nerve and they obviously surround the sciatic nerve and i found that if these muscles and ligaments get stiff then this is the first thing that will cause irritation to the nerves within it and obviously the nerves surrounding the lower back portion of the spine. One excellent stretch I found is to bring the ankle across the front of the opposite thigh and then lift that leg up and uh, wrap your hands around and bring this closer towards the chest. Uh, do this gently so it shouldn't be painful but it will free out all of the uh, ligaments and the muscles inside of the thigh. Um, let it down and then repeat again and gradually you can increase the stretch and uh, this you will feel direct response from the upper part of the thigh and therefore the lower back. Make sure you stretch both sides, otherwise you'll end up with an imbalance between one side and the other. Another great stretch that relieves this sort of pain is uh, very simple but effective. If you uh, find some sort of surface to put your heel on and then just gently move your leg around until it relaxes and uh, the key here is just to relax the leg rather than stretch it, then uh, once you relax into a straight position then you can rotate the leg from left to right. Now what this does is freeze up all the ligaments inside the uh, muscle. It's not just about stretching but it's freeing things up because uh, pain often comes from trapped nerves and ligaments, not just having them uh, stiff but uh, freeing them up as well is important. Next we're going to do a rotational stretch of the spine. You're going to stand with your back against the wall and you're going to rotate to the left and to the right gently, which is going to stretch out the spine in a gentle way, but you're going to just let the hips turn just as much as they need to for you to turn your torso to face the wall. Now you're going to do this to the left and the right, you're going to gently move around, there's not much force required, you're not pushing into this stretch at all, and as you can see the hips only come around just as much as is necessary to turn your upper body towards the wall. You should feel this stretch out and loosen up your back, particularly your lower back, as you move around. So this is just a very gentle exercise, but done daily and combined with other exercises could be a great way to relieve pain and keep the back nice and supple. If you found this video useful, please do give me a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to my channel for further videos. And if you've got anything you want me to talk about more specifically, please drop me a comment in the comments box and I'll make sure I reply to you. Thanks for watching.